Hey guys, uh, Bob Holt, Arkansas Democrat Gazette. This is for Stanley. You know, Stanley, you've waited five years and like 130 something games to finally get to play in the NSA tournament. Could you, uh, what, what's that journey been like? And um, is this kind of what you pictured? If you came to Arkansas, you'd be sitting here at one of these NSA press conferences. And how, how happy are you that, that, that you made, you know, this decision? Uh, yeah, I'm real excited, you know, to be playing in March Madness finally. It's been one of my big goals, you know, since I started playing basketball. So. You know, I'm just excited to get the start playing, actually, with one of my guys. And, and then um, if I could do a follow-up. Uh, you know, Arkansas, who, who else did you think about? And, um, you know, just well, it's been kind of an up-and-down year, but obviously it's ending the right way. Um, I, right when I got in the portal, I wasn't really thinking of any other schools. After I talked with, with Coach Muss, you know, it was really just about who could beat what he had to offer, and uh, it wasn't really much that, that could beat it. We'll go with Mike here, and then now we'll go here. Mike Harrington, Buffalo News. Um, JD, I'm interested in your thoughts on Coach Musselman. Uh, we see the the flamboyance and the enthusiasm and running around. What's it like dealing with that part of him, and just what's it like on an everyday basis having that kind of energy every day? Uh, great man. He just like always energized. He always happy. Sometimes he angry. Most of the times, <laughs> but he just him, uh, Coach Musk, that's my guy. Uh, I've been with him for three years, so we got that relationship. So it's just fun to be around him. Up front here. Hey, Jalen, Curtis Wilkerson with Hog Sports. Just curious what you have seen so far from Vermont that stood out to you as you guys prepare and, and then maybe your particular thoughts on the matchup with Ryan Davis. Um, yeah, they're a really solid team. Um, I think they're the fourth oldest team in the NCAA. So um, they're a really old team. A lot of guys that have experience and they're a really good shooting team. They're probably one of the best shooting teams we played this year. So um, we're looking forward to this matchup. We know what we got to do. And Ryan Davis, he's a great player. Um, he can space the floor. He can play in the post. He can do a lot for their team. And he's also putting a lot of playmaking positions for them too. So he's a great player and it's going to be a good matchup. Question in the back. Andre Robinson, Challenger Community News. Congratulations on your success and being here. Welcome to Buffalo. Um, my question to you guys is, um, last year's run ended in the Elite Eight with a loss to Baylor. Um, what strengths does this team this year have that give you the opportunity to go back to the Elite Eight? Um, care to just talk about that a little bit, just the strengths that you guys have? Um, I would say a strength that we have this year that we didn't have last year was a lot of more experience. Um, we might not have as many old, older guys, but we have a lot of guys that have played in the position that we want to get back to. Like, like JD started a lead A, Devo started a lead A, I started in the lead A. So we have a lot of guys that know what it takes to get there, and we've been in that position. So we feel like we can help these other guys and knowing what it takes to get there. This is for Jalen. You know, you, you were fortunate enough to get to play in the NCAA tournament run as a freshman. You know, we talked about Stanley waited five years, Adis waited four, four years. Um, even I know that's nine years together. Um, how happy are you that these older guys are, are getting, you know, an opportunity? And, they, and maybe Stanley has a follow up after Jalen. Um, does it mean more? Do you think you appreciate it more? That it, I know as a freshman, you guys got to the summit finals. And you one went away, but do you think maybe now you appreciate it more? So maybe Jalen and his family. Um, yeah, it's it's great being able to share the court with these guys, knowing that how hungry they are they are for these wins. They're just as hungry as we are um, going into these games. They want to win. We all want to win together. We want to go far in this tournament. And uh, being able to share the court with these guys and it's been great. And I'm ready to keep going. Uh, yeah, and I mean. Uh, it feels great to you know, finally be able to be, make it to the tournament. You know, I know you said Jay made it his first year, but you know, it takes a lot of work. And you know, coming from a mid-major where you got to win all three games to make it, it's, it's tough. So you know, being, being able to be in this position is a blessing, and, and I'm happy to be here with my guys. Right here. Hey, Scotty Bordelon with Whole Hog Sports. Um, Stanley, I asked Eric Henderson at South Dakota State earlier about what he remembered about you when you were at South Dakota. He mentioned you had a couple of really big scoring games against them. That came to mind first for him. Then he commented uh, on your improvement defensively. Um, what, what strides do you feel like you've made on that end of the floor? And then what do you remember about maybe those big games you had? 
Yeah, uh, I think I had my career high against them um, in the Pentagon. I had 41, and then we lost at their place. I had 34. So those were those two games he's probably talking about. But um, as far as the defensive side, I think I've just been thinking more about it going into the games. I think um, playing at South Dakota, I had a lot of scoring responsibility. So I think coming here, you knowing that I have to play that role, you know, defense and rebounding. So I think it's just a mindset coming into the game, knowing what I got to do and, and taking care of business. Christina Long, the Southwest Times record. Um, Stanley, is there any SEC teams or other teams that you guys have faced this year that you feel like Vermont kind of is similar to, or are they unique at all? Uh, I wouldn't say SEC. Maybe like teams like UNI, a lot of um, you know smart teams that really move the ball and shoot threes. So I think it's just a real slower-paced game with them. I, don't, I think the SEC is a faster-paced conference, so um, I think it's going to be different, but we're, we're doing a good job preparing for them. And then for any of you, um, I guess we can start with Jalen. Um, what do you make of kind of this region and how it's a pretty pretty stacked one with Gonzaga at the top? Um, yeah, um, looking at it, it was a pretty stacked region. But of course, we're just looking at this team that's ahead of us right now, focus on the game that's in front of us, and we'll cross that road when we get there. Up front here. We'll bring a microphone in a second. I think we'll yeah. <laughs> A couple questions. First off, Stanley, I remember in uh, before practice started back in October, you talked about it. Your freshman year, you're one of the guys that brought the stools out for the starters when mm -hmm. the timeouts came. I mean, do you think when you think back on that and how far you've come since then? Uh, what, how would you kind of describe? I think you didn't play much, and now obviously you're 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 playing a lot for one of the best teams in the country. Yeah, it's you know it's a blessing, and uh, it's just a, a testament to the work that I put in and. I think just believing in myself, even when I was doing that at South Dakota, pulling out the stools and timeouts, I think that just, that confidence in myself never never wavered. So I think that um, I'm just happy to be here, really, just just trying to take it all in and live in the moment. And maybe for, for Stanley and, and JD, I know you guys really shored up your three-point defense um, the last part of the season, but you know, A&M shot pretty well. Eric obviously was not happy. Um, and this is a pretty good three-point shooting team on paper. What do you think about their three-point shooting? And do you guys expect to get back to playing the kind of perimeter defense you played for, for most of the last 20, 20, however many games it's been? Uh, yeah, I, uh, you know, coach has been honest. You know, hands in the eyeballs at all times, especially with a team like this, they, uh, they could really shoot it. So if we take that away from them and make them dribble, then we'll be in a good position. But I think it's just keeping them, keep improving and keep um, focusing on that, that three-point percentage defense. And just to piggyback off what Stan said, um, just keeping our hand in the eyeball, making them shoot in the two-point uh, area, and just forcing everything to be tough. That's what we want to do to them. You have a question? Go ahead. <laughs> hey, this, this is for Jalen, JD. I mean, last year you guys, you know, finished real strong, just like you did this year. You get beaten in the SEC tournament semifinals. You're, you're number four seed. You're playing a 13 seed from a mid-major in the Northeast, you know, Colgate now Vermont. It just seems like a lot of similarities. Have, have you guys thought about that? And if so, what what, what are your thoughts on that? Uh, yeah, we kind of had the same position from last year, same type of team that we're going to play. So we just got to come prepare. Uh, and from the start of the game, we got to be on point, and we can't. Uh, come out slow like we did last year versus Colgate and then have to fight our way all the way back. So we want to come out and uh, just come from the jump and just play hard. This yeah. is uh, for J.D. and, and Jalen. Do you guys feel like you're more at home with Bob asking all these questions? What do you say? What do you say? What do you say? <laughs> do we feel like we back at home. <laughs> A little bit, A little obviously. Bit. <laughs> right down here. It, Stanley, I believe uh, – Caleb Klein's a guy that you know from your days at, at South Dakota. Mm -hmm. I guess he's a, been a GA on the on the team for a couple of years. Kind of what's y'all's relationship and and kind of what's it like to you know spend time with him here, share this experience with him? Me and Klein, we got a good we got a real good relationship. My, my junior year, he was my roommate actually in, at South Dakota. So um, I've known him for a long time, and uh, you know coming here, it was nice to know that I, used, I had somebody that was that that cared about me, so that like. He wasn't going to lead me away, like tell me something that I didn't want to hear or tell me something that I just want to hear to get here. So I think that it was nice to, you know, to have him in that recruiting process. And J.D., I talked to Jalen a little bit earlier at, 
at the falls and he said you were the best 2k player on the team i guess just what what are those <laughs> what are those uh those those games like and kind of what's the team bonding experience in a more normal tournament setting now <laughs> uh i mean it's fun just playing 2k like 2k actually helped me get better like just making reads uh just playing defense all that uh, stan think he could beat me but he really can't but nah, just having fun, just bonding. Everybody play 2K, so we all just be on the sticks. Who they say was? Who said that he was the best 2K player? Jay Will. You heard him. We gotta be realistic. <laughs> you ain't never seen me play. <laughs> <laughs> Jalen and JD, y'all are coming off of the Elite Eight, obviously last year, and great stretch of run up into the SEC tournament. But it feels like nationally, y'all are still getting put on quote unquote upset watch with this Vermont team. Is that adding any extra motivation for y'all going into this game tomorrow? Um, for sure. But I feel like that's been our thing since, since the beginning of this season. Like, we've always been overlooked. We were 0-3 we at the beginning of the conference, and everybody turned their back on us, and we just kept believing in each other. So um, what this team can do, I feel like it's the sky's the limit. We believe in each other. We believe that the guy next to us is going to make the big shot every game, no matter who it is. So uh, we just keep believing in each other, and we're going to go game by game. Yeah, just to kind of go on what Jay Will said, um, we always believe in each other. Uh, each and every day we come to practice, uh, go hard. So when we get in the game, I feel like we all comfortable in our positions, whatever it is. And and when we down, we feel like we never out of a game. We was down, what, 20 to Tennessee, but we felt like we were still right there in it. So, I mean, this group, we just fight. This is more for J.D. and Stanley. I asked Moses Moody this a few weeks ago because I've personally never seen it. He said he hadn't seen it. Can Jalen Williams frown? Can he, I mean, he, he does nothing it. but smiling. Smile. Does he frown. have the physical ability to frown? I mean, have you seen him when he's tired out there sometimes? <laughs> <laughs> he's tired, so, um, nah, he, uh, yeah, J. Will, he's always, you know, enthusiastic. You know, he's happy to be here. You could tell. So... I don't think he's never really in a bad mood practice-wise or anything like that. He's always he's always getting this going. All right, question up here. Time for a couple more. It's coming around. I know. <laughs> Jalen, uh, you didn't get a chance to answer my question about the similarities, you know, between last year and this year. I mean, being fourth seed, coming off a semifinal loss, et cetera. I mean, does it strike you as kind of a similar situation? Yeah, for sure. It's a it's a similar situation for sure, but we're also more prepared. Like the guys that were here last year, they got the experience that we know that we can't have that slow start. We know that we got to go from the jump and we got to respect every team that's in front of us. So um, we also grew from last year. So we got to write our own story. It's a new year and we just got to do our own thing. I mean, well, for J Jalen, J you know, Eric would said the other day on his radio show that when he was in Nevada and they were ranked in the top five and they started 15 or whatever, that they just weren't having fun. And he sounded like he was determined for you guys to have fun. I know he took you out on the boat in Tampa and took you to Niagara Falls. I mean, obviously you guys are working hard and everything, but do you feel like Eric's, you know, trying to make it fun also? And, and if so, what, what's that like if, for, for Jalen and JD? Yeah, for sure. Uh, Coach Muzz does a good job of trying to make sure we're having fun during practice. Like yesterday he got our trainer and Kaywood out there and they were guarding each other. And <laughs> it was just a fun experience with the team. So he tries to make it fun, tries to make sure that we were locked in, but we're also having fun doing it. So it keeps the process good. It keeps us interested in the whole thing. Yeah, What's um, just uh, getting to know each other still a little bit. So we do like games where somebody got to tell something about their life and and he listened to like a lot of podcasts. So like me, Stan, Jay Will, we have different podcasts and like he'll bring up a point about our podcast so that some of the teammates may not have knew. So it'd be. Right. What's, some of the, what's some of the advice that you give the youth that's looking to be like Jalen or JD or Stanley? What's some of the advice that you're giving them out there back at home? Uh, just to keep going. Uh, every day not gonna be perfect. Every day not gonna be the way you want it to be. So you just gotta keep fighting. Uh, just don't get down on yourself too much uh, and just keep going. Yeah. Yeah. Piggy, piggy, or you got it? You got it. All right, so piggyback off of that, you know, just as far as, you know, basketball, you know, to the youth, if, you know, just if you love what you're doing, then you're gonna be able to get past, you know, the hard days, because it's not always easy. 
but you know just make sure you love what you're doing and you just put your head down and work and eventually you're going to you're going to be able to make it to where you where you're trying to go all right that's the time we have for our student athletes thank you very much Good luck tomorrow you. thank you